Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, I'm DK, and I've been asked to do a how to send UFC fan mail video. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, um, this video will help you guys out with some of the tips and tricks and kind of the how-to and how I've sent UFC fan mail over the years. Um, this is mainly for how to send UFC or MMA fan mail requests. So um, some of it is adaptable also to the other sports, but I mainly focus on MMA and uh, getting UFC tops cards signed through the mail. So to get to it, there's a bunch to cover, so here we go. Um, first of all, obviously, a TTM is a through the mail uh, fan mail request for a signature, whether you send your own item or ask the fighter to send maybe a signed photo of themselves uh, of their own. Uh, obviously, it includes uh, your envelope that you're sending it with, um, your letter, uh, your item to be signed, and uh, your self addressed stamped envelope. Um, all different kinds of em envelopes to use, but I would definitely suggest for your self-adjust stamped envelope that you use pull-in peels or pull-in seals, whatever, so um, the fighters don't have to lick uh, your return envelope. It uh, just makes it easier, and if fighters are apprehensive, maybe they might send it back, um, you know, unsealed because they don't want to lick envelopes and adhesive all day. So um, obviously, the most common envelope is a number ten, num number ten envelope. And then there's, there is one uh, size smaller than this, that is, um, if you send this to the fighter, uh, your self-adjust stamped envelope can either be a smaller envelope, like a uh, 3x6 or something, or you can tri-fold, um, I've, I've already tri-folded this number 10, you can tri-fold the number 10 and put that in the envelope with your, uh, with your item to be signed. Um, kind of a, a rule of thumb is um, bigger requests obviously get noticed easier and usually get addressed quicker or or, um, or first. I remember talking to Pat Nishik on Facebook. I think he's a, a MLE um, Major League Baseball pitcher for the A's right now. I remember him telling me on Facebook that a lot of times uh, hundreds of these were discarded but the larger envelopes were addressed by uh, a lot of the guys in the clubhouse out of their mail slots and out of their lockers. So Ever since then, I've kind of had that in the back of my mind. If I really want something signed, it matters a lot to me. I'll send them in a larger envelope. So most of my TTMs come back in this size for for uh, UFC cards. So I'll fold over the bottom uh, half inch or so, and I'll slide that with my letter and my and my card. Uh, I sometimes send uh, two, three cards. I think you can get away with um, five cards in an envelope like this and still get one stamp on it. But I'll put it in a six by nine Manila, and this is just one of those uh, metal clasps. Uh, or uh, um, you can lick it also, but um, usually just do a metal clasp so that, that way it's easier to um, to open when they receive it. And um, one stamp will cover an envelope up to uh, six and an eighth uh, tall and eleven long. So this is just a six by nine, so it's just one stamp. Um, if you want it, um, if there's a lot of stuff inside your envelope, or you don't want it to go through the mail sorter where it could be bent if you send. Um, a really thick, like uh, Topps Knockout or Gold version card, um, it's going to be 66 stamp cents uh, in return. So you got to add a 20 cent stamp to that. If you're doing um, 8x10s, obviously use a 9x12 envelope, and you can either um, fold up your self adjust stamped envelope in half, or you can get a larger mailer. This is like a 10x14 maybe, and that way it fits your 9x12 for yourself or just stamped envelope but um, that's the easy stuff now one of the things I like to do is I don't like to use real postage stamps I like to use the self um, what do you call that um, the self service machine at the post office that way uh, if I send a large envelope like this with my stuff inside um, and it tells me the postage to mail it is a buck twelve I can go into the option for buy stamps other value and I can just type in a buck twelve, and it'll print out a dollar twelve postage, and I can put that in my self-addressed stamped envelope. So uh, I always use the self the self-service machine at the post office. It's just quicker, and I don't have to deal with having just the right value stamps, you know, because uh, a forever stamp is forty six cents right now, and then you know twenty cent stamp and a five cent stamp and a penny stamp. Just using a self-service machine is the best that I've found. So. Really easy to to print off um, your self adjust stamped envelope postage that way. For where to send, I've sent all different places over the over the over the years. Um, some unique places are seminars. I've gotten great successes. Even recently, I got um, Shogun 
not Shogun, but I got Shogun at a seminar, but the most recent was Anderson Silva, which was one of the hardest autographs for me to get for my set. Um, got BJ Penn that way, Shogun, Kenny Florian, and uh, just name some of the big ones through seminars. Um, obviously sending to the gyms where they train. I, I'll even send to um, like a clerk or secretary or the owner of the gym and maybe even go through them to help me get my item passed along and in their hands, to, into the fighters' hands. I've sent to, fi to fighters' homes, but usually those are the ones that are either retired or mm, that's pretty much it, the inactive or retired fighters. Uh, I'll maybe sometimes send to a home address. Send to via venues, that's where you send to um, where the fighters can be fighting next on a fight card. So like this last, one of the last events was in Seattle at Key Arena, so you would address your envelope uh, to a key arena, attention, UFC fighter, and I put comma, and then the fighter's name, and then the street address. Some people like to add hold until date and on the bottom, but I don't do that. I've had good enough success with just putting attention to the fighter and noting that it's UFC fighter, and then putting the fighter's name so they know it's for the UFC. Um, I've sent through trainers, uh, meaning like if a guy's at like Cross Fitness or something, I'll send to the trainer that they're with at Cross Fitness or whatever and they'll get forwarded and get signed. Um, I've sent to rehab locations, um, like physical physical rehab, not like drug rehab, but like drug and alcohol rehab, but um, rehabs like GSP was in Orange County rehab in his knee forever and uh, several of us were able to get our GSP items signed that way. Uh, so pay attention to that and also fighter appearances. Back in the day, uh, back when Gun Store was a UFC sponsor, official UFC sponsor, uh, in Las Vegas, they did appearances where fighters would come in and sign, and lots of times if you sent a self-addressed stamped envelope, they would send you a signed gun store promo, or even if you sent an item in, they would have it signed for you at that signing. So it's kind of similar with how I've gotten things done at seminars. You know, you ask, hey, I really want this thing signed, would you please help me and have this forwarded to the fighter and have it signed for me when he's there for a seminar or, you know, for the for the appearance. Um, I even, if some of you guys remember, I've even gotten an, an autograph success from a hard-to-get foreign fighter. Uh, if you guys remember the story that Chael Sonnen told on Dana White's video blog one uh, one day on YouTube that uh, he was telling Dana White this story about how his mom almost shot Yushin Okami. Well, it's a funny story if you ever get a chance to find that on YouTube. Um, but through information on there I gleaned out of there, I was able to actually get Yushin Okami to sign. So... You can just get all different ways, but really the, the best point is to um, be active on Twitter, following the fighters that you like, as well as fighters that you're trying to get autographs from, because they often tweet about uh, where, they're, where they're training, where they're going, what they're doing. You know, if they're on vacation for a month, you don't want to send to their gym while they're on vacation. So timing is key. Getting your item noticed is the other key. And um, so yeah, follow them on Twitter. Most guys are real fan friendly on Twitter and also Facebook. I don't use Facebook myself, but I know other guys have corresponded um, pretty easily with, with fighters on Facebook. So um, that's just about it. Um, lastly, if you send UFC Tops cards, they do um, have a lot of gloss in them many times. Uh, some of the cards are more cardstock finish. But uh, for cutting down the gloss, you can either rub down the card um, somewhat aggressively with a pink pearl mark, uh, not a marker, a pink pearl eraser, um, and then get rid of the debris, obviously. But that gets kind of messy, or even a white eraser. But what I like to use is just a little splash of baby powder, and I've had this baby powder for a really long time, just 99 cents or something like that. Uh, it's really easy, just um, blot, if you look there, I just splash a little bit right here doesn't take much just rub it all in all over the card it shouldn't even look like you've done anything to it even if you use an eraser it shouldn't look like you it should not look like you've done anything to it it should look just the same but i think there's some talc in the powder that helps really um, um, helps the marker stick um, and the ink stick to the stick to the card so it doesn't streak and bubble and you can always test it out yourself and then take the autograph off with a, an, a dry erase Expo 2 marker. Just rub all over the, over the Sharpie and then wipe it off with like a, a paper towel. I wouldn't use anything that's got lotion in it because it can get streaky like Kleenexes or whatever. Lastly, um, addresses. Uh, just use like Wikipedia to find out where a fighter's from, maybe even where they train. 
obviously watch Twitter. They obviously talk about where they train on there. And then how to find the addresses, just Google it. Uh, it's not difficult to do that. Um, double, triple check the addresses. I will have a link below to an address database and an account to use to, to sign in uh, to the address database. Um, that can be a good starting point. The MMA graphing site that the database is on is no longer active, so um, this account will be set up for everybody to use. So please use it wisely. Uh, the database can be out of date. It's not being maintained anymore because MMA graphing is... Um, doesn't really um, get maintained anymore and there isn't an admin to run it and new members can't be registered to use the database so there will be an account below to use and um, there will be a link also to Google Translate um, for anybody to help translate um, their English letters of request into like Portuguese, Spanish or even some Japanese too. Um, so yeah, most of, my hand, my, most of my letters are handwritten on a piece of paper of this size, like a 5 by 7 or something, or even I like to use a post-it front and back, larger post-it. Just keep it simple, keep it personal, and um, you know, don't do too much BSing. So, or you can if you want to, but this is not my style, being an adult to another adult and not going to be all childlike. So, that's it. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if, if you have any questions, post below and I'll try to reply, but that should be about it. Good luck and uh, God bless.